Hey guys, it's Laura Klein with OrganicAuthority.com TV. We have back with us one of my favorite guests and good friend, Rose Cole. If you haven't seen our pre previous shows, you have to check it out. She is a certified holistic nutritionist. So I brought her back today because she is going to share with us one of the top secrets, and I mean, this is a really top secret, you guys. I didn't even know this. Of one of those secrets of how to lose the last hard to lose 10 pounds. So let's get to it. Rose, what's up? How can you lose those hard to lose 10 pounds? Well, this is not only about how to lose those stubborn last 10 pounds, but also how to dramatically increase your energy as well. That is good. Yes, this is one of the cornerstones to one of my programs, which is called the 10 Week Transformation Program. And it's really to help people to lose the last 10 to 20 pounds and dramatically increase your energy. And the whole key has to do with enzymes. This is something that enzymes. very, very few people know about. And so we're going to be doing kind of this science experiment experiment here. And then I'm going to be talking about what enzymes are and how to lose, how to use them to lose weight and dramatically increase your energy. Okay, so what are enzymes? Because, you know, we hear about enzymes. I clean my kitchen with enzymes. So you're going to tell me <laughs> enzymes help me digest my food. So what's up? <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. Okay, so... Um, Enzymes, these are actually enzyme formulas right here, and we're gonna be putting it in oatmeal. I'm gonna show you how enzymes digest and melt down food. And in this process, I'm gonna show you how you can absorb up to three to four times as many nutrients out of, the same, as, out of the same exact meal. So That'll you can imagine. Your energy. Exactly, so let's start. We're gonna do this while I'm talking and explaining because it Great. takes a little while. So if you wanna put, this is just some oatmeal that I made, and I just went to the store, got some regular old oatmeal. And we're gonna put about um, about three fourths of a cup in here just for this demonstration. Okay. And so, what is this demonstration like symbolizing? What is this a metaphor for? Okay. So you can imagine that this is the food that you've eaten, and this is kind of in your stomach. So the um, glass is your stomach. <laughs> yeah. Oops. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So enzymes. Enzymes, and then these are um, just enzymes in capsule form just because they're easier to pour, but you can get them in tablet form as well. And then it's going to be your job to mix that up. Okay. And we can kind of set this aside. All right. Thank you. Okay, so you're just going to be mixing that, and I'm going to talk about enzymes. All right. So enzymes are in every cell of our body. We literally cannot live without enzymes, and they hmm. give us tons of energy, and they also help us to get our nutrients out of our food. So every food that you eat, <laughs> messy. Yeah, it is messy. Every food that you eat has an enzyme that digests it. So um, cellulose, which is plant material, okay. requires the enzyme cellulase to digest it and melt it down and dissolve it. This is pretty amazing, you guys. Check it's this out. It's starting to yeah, work. So it's already. Protein requires protease. Um, uh, lactose, which is the sugar that's in dairy products, mm -hmm. um, requires lactase to melt it down. So um, this is a little fact that not a lot of people know about it, which is no mammal, including humans, mm -hmm. can digest fruits and vegetables. Okay, so what's going on with us if we can't digest okay. fruits and vegetables? <laughs> the, the enzyme to digest fruits and vegetables is inside of the fruits and vegetables. So if really? you were to take an, a, an onion, for instance, and cut a slice of it and look at it underneath a microscope, like you maybe did in, um, in high school or college biology mm -hmm. or chemistry, um, looking at that slice of of onion, you would see a whole bunch of little cells. Do you remember right, that? Right, I do. I totally remember that. Okay, well, the enzymes to digest onion mm -hmm. are inside of those little pockets of cells. Okay. So you have to break open all of those little pockets to release the enzymes to digest it. Okay, this is starting to, is make, starting to make sense, sense? Okay. now. Are you adding up the dots? I hope you are. Okay, so and then I'm going to connect this to losing weight and increasing your energy. Right. So, um, so, you know, just like when you eat corn and you don't mm -hmm. chew it, it kind of mm -hmm. comes out the other end the way that it went in. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, okay, that's kind of us. Yeah, it, we've okay. all seen it. Okay. Trust me. <laughs> so an apple, the purpose of this, an apple, if it fell from the, the tree, it would bump and bruise, and it would break open all of those little those little pockets with the enzymes. It would release the enzymes and start to decompose the apple with the mm. little seeds inside all ready to go to form another plant, right? Sure. Well, so we know we need enzymes. They digest our food, and you can see this already. Now, this is the regular Look oatmeal. You can see this just looks like Sorry, like regular oatmeal, and this is literally being melt down, melted down to 
like a water. Now all of the nutrients are still in this. That's amazing. They're just in little tiny microscopic form now because they digest in our stomach, it gets dropped into our intestines. Our intestines looks like a tube that has like a filter on it. Wow. And right on the other side of that wall is your bloodstream, waiting to take these microscopic nutrients to the rest of the body where your body can use them to build muscle and to fuel, to fuel our body. So you can imagine if this was in your intestines. This is not going to go through the filtration, right? Now you have. And it's going to plug you up. Right, exactly. <laughs> that's not comfortable. I'm that's sorry, not, but it's not comfortable. And you can see, I, I mean, I can mix this all day and it's still going to look like oatmeal. And this I mean, one. Look at that. And this has just begun. This actually will end up looking even more so like this, where it ends up looking like water. This I did about oh, wow. you know, half an hour ago, and you can see. You know, this is like water. So you guys, this is what goes on in your stomach. You don't want the stuff in your stomach to look right. like this. You want it to look like that or like this. Right. This is so, amazing, Rose. I have to say, I was pretty darn skeptical. I'm like, what? So was I. So was I. So now the whole thing is though, you don't have to take a capsule. You okay. can get enzymes in your fruits and vegetables and in the dairy that you eat. The problem is... What's the catch? What's the, the catch? catch? I know. So the catch is that it can't be heated above 115 degrees. Okay, so how do you know if you're cooking your food that it's not going to go 115 degrees? Above? Well, you can't. You pretty much don't cook. Unless you use like a... Um, you either eat raw food or okay. you cook it in a dehydrator. Okay. I mean, 115 degrees is about the temperature of the sun if you were to leave something out in the sun. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> and we definitely cook our food higher than right. that. Right, exactly. So it's not very hot. So this is why you've probably heard of... This is why raw food is eat raw food. Okay. Okay. And there's all kinds of dips and crackers and all kinds of things. Like I go to a raw restaurant and I have crackers and bread and soups, but mm -hmm. they're just cooked under very, very low temperature. Okay. So for most of us, that's not practical. I don't no. eat 100% uh, raw on my diet. I eat a lot of cooked food. I eat about 40 to 80% to raw. But if I'm eating lots of cooked food, then I just take a capsule or a tablet of digestive enzymes when I eat. Now the key is you want to make sure it's a plant-based Okay, Enzyme. so if, I mean, honestly me, I love to cook, you all know that. Um, for me to go 80% raw, that would be tough just because I am such a foodie. Mm -hmm. So if, if anyone out there is, you know, you love to cook on the whole thing, you're saying, Rose, that we could take these enzymes that are vegetable-based, is right. that correct? You don't want it to be plant-based. Now, okay. if you don't and you're just eating lots of cooked food, what happens is, um, well, number one, you're not going to digest it properly. Ooh. And what you don't digest, you can store as fat. Ouch! Number, that's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> Number two is it becomes, um, it can kind of rot and ferment, especially Yuck. meat, like protein can rot and ferment in your body and that creates toxicity, which causes you to hold on to even more fat. Oh no! Yes, and then the other thing is you could be taking supplements and eating food, perfectly organic food, and only absorbing 20%, 30% of your nutrients. You can Ouch. imagine what that does to your energy to be constantly walking around being deficient in vitamins and minerals. So this is critical to fueling your energy and losing weight is digestion. Right. I would say about 80% of the health issues that people come to me for are stemming from poor digestion. Okay. And this is one of the things that I teach. I mean, this is not the only thing right. with digestion. Um, okay. And this is all part of your 10 week course that you're going to be teaching that you teach and it's called Rose's 10-week transformation, is that correct? It's called the 10-week transformation. Okay, Rose, so if people want to know about more information on how to lose weight and how to increase their energy, where can they go to find out more info? They can go to rosescourse.com where I talk all about my 10-week transformation program. It's an online course that people can take from anywhere in the world. And Which is so cool, by yeah. the way. And it's just for increasing your energy and losing that last 10, pound, 10 to 20 pounds and just getting healthy holistically. All right, you guys got to go to rosescourse.com and at least check it out. I mean, her stuff is so good. I want to thank you guys for watching OrganicAuthority.com TV. See you next time.